also known as Arnis, a collie stick or a prima stick or an Arnis stick. It's just a simple, it's about as long as the tip of your middle finger into your armpit. It can be about 28 inches, depending on how long your arm is, 24 inches, 26 inches. It doesn't matter. Just grab sticks about that length or cut a broomstick in half and get started today. Practice your Kali martial arts, your Eskrima martial arts, starting with this simple warm-up, turning. My hand is simply in the middle of the Kali stick or the Eskrima stick, and I'm turning it up and down. You can do it at the same time. If you want to look cool, alternate it. But get it moving back and forth. You want to get blood into the joint so you can stay safe from injury during this Learn Martial Arts at home. Learn Martial Arts online, Kali Eskrima double stick workout. It's as simple as this. I just want to get it to stretch out and strengthen those wrists, those forearms. Now, good afternoon. It's good to see Garen. You're going to hold it here. You have a little bit coming out of the bottom of each stick. The purpose of this, good morning, Robert, is to have this part of the stick available to strike, strike in self-defense, or to trap or strip a weapon away from somebody else using your Kali or martial arts, Kali martial arts sticks or Eskrima. Awkward the cats here, good afternoon. Now from here, I'm still spinning, turning my hands around in doubt, or down. Good evening, Ntando and Robert, good to see you. It's evening some places, it's morning other places. Right now here, it's almost three o'clock in the afternoon, I'm going forward. We have a big storm. Matthew, it's good to see you. So if I get, if I start to cut in and out, it's just a big storm overhead. It'll blow through. We're coming forward and down, and then I'm going to reverse it. And the whole time, my hand is closed. Hello, Doug. It's good to see you. My whole hand, or my hand is closed. This might be easier, and it would uh, lead you to lose your stick in battle, in self-defense. So learn how to increase your flexibility with your hand closed and resist the urge, fight the urge to open that hand. You're going to improve faster. And if you're here and you like to use Kali martial arts sticks or Screamer martial arts sticks, please give me a thumbs up so I can make more of these. Now, in, one, or in both hands, I want you to practice this dropping motion. This is also going to allow you to build strength in your arms, your shoulders, your wrists, your forearms, and get faster, harder strikes. And this one is a vertical strike. Imagine you're coming down on their head, or maybe they're reaching out to punch, to stab, to grab, and you break that wrist, go for the joint. But you're going up and down. I'm using my quantum protector. I call them protector because they hit extremely hard. These are made out of hickory. They're not rattan. Retain is good. Whatever you've got, use it. Don't wait until you have the perfect tool. And if you only have one collie stick or one Eskrima stick, use that. Learn martial arts at home. Collie Eskrima sticks can be Collie Eskrima stick. One is good. Just take turns with your hands. After you do this for 30 seconds to a minute, I want you to split it. By splitting it, you're going to increase the range of motion more flexibility, more range of motion means harder strikes. It's going to lead to harder strikes. But you want to be able to come up and back, up and back. I'm relaxing my wrist. Matthew asks, when I'm spinning the sticks, I'm relaxing the wrists. Privet sticks are also good. Yes, that's right, Grant, Garen. Um, yes, I'm relaxing my wrist and my hand a little bit. See how that kind of comes open? I'm not holding. I'm not squeezing it. You can but you're just going for flexibility. The key is don't open your hand. Don't do this. Don't loosen it so much that it could come out when it hits another stick or it hits a body for self-defense. So you want to keep it closed while you're going around. But great question. Now, we've done this. We did this basic warm-up. I want you to put the first two motions together, this turning motion with this dropping motion or this vertical strike. So starting from your shoulder, you're going to turn it out as you come down and turn it in as you come up, down and up. Now we're not into the practical self-defense yet, but this is going to prepare you to practice without getting injured. Matthew, you're, thank or you're welcome for that question. It's a good question. If you have a question, I have time, a few minutes, put them in there, I'll try to see it, and I'll try to answer it. If you've been working with your colleague, martial arts sticks, the screaming sticks, 
to help. If I can be of value, if I can add anything to you, my wish is that I can do that. Up and down. And you guys add to me. You often tell me things that I don't know or point me in a direction of something I haven't seen before. That's why I like this online community. You're as valuable to me as I might be to you. Probably more so. You're more valuable to me than I am to you. So coming up and down, and then, just like we split this, I'd like you to split, do one hand, and then do the other hand. We're going for not just learning practical self-defense, how to fight with a stick, learn martial arts at home, learn martial arts online, Kali is scream of sticks. You're also learning how to defend yourself, how to fight, how to stop a bigger opponent, multiple attackers, somebody who might have a sharpened weapon like a knife or another bladed weapon. But all of that is gonna be better when you properly warm up. And this is not just warming up, I can still feel it starting to burn. This is strengthening all of this muscle in here. It's increasing. Um, Garen says it's a lot like the Indian club training too. Yes, if you watch my Indian club training and my Kali stick training or screaming sticks, I blend them together. I don't know why more people don't blend them together. It's probably because there are a lot of purists in martial arts and I am a purist too, but I believe in learning it all and finding a way that it all fits, that it all makes sense together. So I am also a purist, but I'm not such a purist that I say, well, wait a minute, guru such and thus didn't tell me to do it, so I can't do it. Or guru so-and-so said that that's wrong. I always say, well, that's cool. Uh, <laughs> maybe guru so-and-so didn't know that, this other thing. I don't know. I'm going to try it. Some things fit well together So in some styles of martial arts. We've been doing a lot of MMA here in the dojo lately, in the dojo, the virtual dojo, and in the inline, the in-person dojo. We've been blending a lot of different techniques, long distance, short distance, and then even going to the ground and how to make those transitions. And they come in from all styles. That's what's so beautiful about martial arts. Uh, Doug says, middle finger uh, trigger issues, which finger is the primary, should hold the stick. So if you have that trigger finger, you probably have this, which is inflamed a little bit tighter and sometimes it gets locked down. If you can soften it, let it soften so that it's sticking out. If you have to, Doug, make it work however you can make it work. If you have to let your hands out a little bit more, that's okay. If you have to do more down here in the bottom, that's okay either. Or right, also, thank you, Garen. Yeah, but Bruce Lee said, you know, take, take everything, find what works for you, don't worry about the rest. And I'm gonna add to that. Don't worry about what other people say about what is good for you, because that's a big part of it. You'll start to try something and someone else will stay, say, hey, so-and-so said that's not right. And you're like, well, who's so-and-so, right? And, uh, and then the, the other thing, Doug, that I'll say about that trigger finger is I know that at the beginning, doing these might not be that easy with the trigger finger, but if you can fight for it, if you can push yourself through it, I have seen over and over and over again and have many emails and messages from people saying, my trigger finger is much better since I started spinning through the fingers. Go slowly at first, but it's all about getting blood, getting blood back in there. If you have trigger finger, if you have other arthritic fingers, then the doctor will sit, might say to you, um, you, you can't, you know, you can't fix it. It's never going back. There's no blood going in there anymore. It's bone on bone. I've, and this is anecdotal, I'm not a doctor. I've seen a lot of people improve it. Let's talk about basic strikes. I'm gonna use one now, drop the other one. Start on your shoulder and you're always gonna fight in front of your body. First thing is coming through. We're gonna call this angle one. This is angle two. I turn the palm up, angle three, up angle four. And I just want you for today's workout to do those four angles over and over and over again because I want you to focus on the tightness of this tightness of these two angles and the tightness of these two angles in front of your body. Meaning that I don't want you to be out here and out here and that's where most people will start. I want you to get it on your shoulder, get your other hand up and try to watch it go in front of your body. And notice from here, it's coming out here that this angle, see that angle stays in front of my body, but it's really this part of the body. Now I'm going to increase power and speed by turning and extending 
turning, extending is always going to give me more power. And then I'm coming, and then same thing from the other side. See this turn that's here? So it's not just this and this, it's this and this. The other thing that happens is when you turn here, you're making yourself a smaller target. So you need to turn through, turn through, same thing, turning that angle, bring it up here, bring it up here, fighting behind your stick. That's today's workout. After that extensive warm up, I want you to come one, two, three, four, and then immediately put it into the other hand and practice one. When you learn martial arts at home, Kali, a scream of sticks. Today's workout is all about keeping that tight fighting. So if I'm hitting, I slide through, slice through. You might use a stack of tires or a banana bag like I do or another bag. And if you don't have that, don't use it. And don't worry if you don't have it. You don't need to hit something to build real power. All your power is going to come from the range of motion and this turning and extending. Extending the arm and turning the body. And then later, you're going to step in with each strike. And by moving your body into the strike, that's going to create and generate the most knockout power, stopping power for self-defense. These are the quantum protector self-defense. Kali, the screaming sticks. Good. Good. Killing Joy says, uh, started tactical. Uh, yeah. Um, very well-known, famous uh, stick fighting organization. And, and, I mean, there's so many great ones out there. So, so many great instructors, so many great associations and training. And they all have different flavors different ideas, and every once in a while you're going to run into, this is the only way, <laughs> right? It's like that uh, TV show, The Mandalorian. This is the way. Well, yeah, that's one way. There are other ways. This is something that I always thought, found super interesting that people, I think, overlook and miss sometimes. When I, I started martial arts at nine, I've been around a lot of martial, yeah, I can't say it either. I butchered it. That's why I didn't say it. Thank you, Killing Joy, for letting me off the hook for not saying what you just typed. He typed the name of the, uh, of the association. It's Patiki uh, Tertia or something. I, Teresa, I always get it wrong, and then I get corrected. So if, if you know how to pronounce it right, put the pronunciation key in the comment below, and I apologize. I don't mean to offend. I was not in that association. If I were, I probably would be able to pronounce it. Anyway, or at least do a better job than butchering it. Um, the point is, so this is your practice. You've got four, two down, two up, switching sides, over and over, what I was saying before is with this idea that in martial arts there's only one way, this style beats all other styles, you can't, uh, those guys over there, they're doing it wrong. It's like religions. Only these 16 people at this weird little church on the outskirts of Omaha, Nebraska, they're the only ones going to heaven because everybody else is worshiping wrong. That happens, that exists. You've seen that, some of you have seen that. Same thing is true in martial arts. Only our way is the way. Everything else is wrong because, and people are adamant about it. And they, there might be some truth in what they're saying, but um, Garen says, yeah, you can incorporate technique you use with a, a Kukuri at war. And yeah, absolutely. All these different uh, knives, swords, different fighting styles, they all can come together if you take what works for you and understand that my instructor in one style, for example, one of the styles that I spent the most time in is this tall. Literally. And that's not, that's not to be mean or offensive. That's just a reality. There's nothing wrong with that, that height. Uh, oh, hey, Richard. It's good to see you. But his body, and I, and I easily outweigh him by 150 pounds even now. Um, and he's, he's probably in his 80s, I guess, 70s or 80s. His body moves differently than mine. And then one of the other guys in the school was this tall. And he was a high-ranking guy. He'd been doing, he's been doing it now for 50 years. He's still moving and grooving, and, uh, but his, mo his body moves very differently than mine because he's tall and lanky, and it moves a lot differently than this guy, right, than the, the headmaster, and then this master, and then this master over here had polio as a child, and he has a lame arm that he tucked into his belt, and he had one uh, leg that was a couple inches shorter than the other one, and he moved great, an amazing fighter, but his body moves differently than this guy, and that's what you have to remember. We're all so different. And yes, that does mean that we're going to move in a little bit different ways. And then when you branch that out to different martial arts styles, that doesn't mean one style is better than another style. It means it's simply different. So you have to say it's not good, it's not bad, it's different. 
So that's your training for today. Do the warm up, go back and watch this again, and then practice your first four angular strikes. Go for smooth, but also go for shoulder and out. And remember, extension, turning the shoulders, turning the hips, uh, extension, and then start to add the footwork in when you're on your left side, put the left foot forward, and your right side, put the right foot forward, and then left foot, right, when the strike comes to the right, go to the right foot, even though it's still in the left hand. That's just a progression. You can make those progressions. Put your comments below. Please let me know what you have gotten out of this so far, what you're working on. And if you have a pair of Kali Eskrima or Arnie sticks, did you make them yourself? What are they made out of? What's your favorite material? That's the question of the day. I'll see you guys in a little bit. I'm going to go teach another class. Got six more tonight.